let me show you these uh, aquatic plants. They are uh, what I've been researching for. Edible plants grown in water only, no soil. These are not terrestrial plants, they are aquatic plants. You can grow them in ponds or aquariums. So, first one, let me introduce these things. They're called Chinese water chestnuts. So, they don't actually taste like chestnuts. They are, they taste, I would say, like a pear. Okay? If you peel out the outer skin, inside it looks and tastes like pear. Anyway, they grow in water, but not fully submerged. These are basically the, uh, the leaves and stems will grow out of the water uh, in the air, but the the tuber and the and roots will be in the, uh, the water uh, in some kind of a so uh, soil in the water. As you can see, it's it's easy to grow because um, I don't think anybody sells seeds, but this is. I grow from the tuber, so you just buy these, buy these from the, it's like a Chinese supermarket, Chinese chestnuts. Um, they sell these for eating, but if you put that, as long as it's not completely frozen solid, it's just uh, stored in cold storage. You put it in water, and the water level is up to basically don't submerge it fully, but up to the top, then. In a few weeks, it will start growing uh, stems and leaves, and then when it has roots, then we can transplant it to a real pot with soil and put it in water. Hey, let me update you on this uh, water chestnut thing. See, it's growing a lot of leaves, stems, or whatever, and you can see there was uh, there's there's roots shooting out of the, uh, the base of the stems. A lot of them. Okay, so I think they are ready for transplant into the mud or soil in the water, basically. And we're gonna do that soon. Hey, so this is another update. Um, after transplanting that uh, those sprouts of water chestnuts from that little bowl. Uh, into this big uh, plastic bin and we'll put it in the in the pool if you have a pond and you don't have to have this kind of thing uh, a stand but in the, in the pool there's no substrate so there's some garden soil in the in the bin added water wash it out pretty clean now as you can see and put it in the bin on the stand in the swimming pool basically the reason for the stand of course is to uh, because the, the leaves need to get get out of the water right to get air so only the the root part and the about one or two inches of leaves are in the, in the water but the rest is sticking out of the water and uh, this is about a few weeks after we transplanted into this this environment and uh, it's growing really well and uh, when I first put this outside the leaves are only sticking out of the water for like one or two inches and now you can see it's it's very very tall okay and uh, it's sprouting more leaves as well so hopefully this will uh, reproduce like they reproduce through the tuber right they, the, the roots will spread and the, the root will grow new tubers and the new tubers will uh, hopefully grow new water chestnuts and uh, maybe more sprouts and so so this is I think this is it for this video but uh, when uh, in the fall, uh, late fall, and when the leaves turn to yellow, I was told, that's time to harvest. Basically, you take them out and discard the leaves, and the tubers are the uh, the bulbs, are the ones you can, you can eat. Okay, so, yeah, uh, this is a very good uh, plant uh, for my little swimming pool slash pond, and the fish uh, love to uh, gather at the roots as well. You can, you can see the little fishes. Okay. So, and this is also edible. It's a really great plant for your pond or swimming pool.